Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney, if you don't know me already, and I'm from New Zealand. So last week I did a video on the SR-71 um, aircraft and I had so, so many of you guys asking me to react to this one. It's called LA Speed Story. Um, so I think it's a, a pilot telling a story about what happened when he was flying the SR-71 So we're gonna check it out today. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm very intrigued I don't know what to expect, but we are gonna get straight into the video <laughs> SR-71 pilot, Major Brian Shaw. It's called the LA Speed Story. And I, it was just a story about one day it was really cool being being SR-71 pilot. Walter and I were doing a training mission around the United States where you just were building up hours and time. And we take off out of Beale, hit a tanker in Idaho, rip on up to uh, Montana, zip across Denver, hang a right turn in Albuquerque, out over Los Angeles, up to Seattle, back into Sacramento, two just hours, casual. 21 minutes. Just casual. And you just do that for, and you do it backwards, and you hit a tanker or two. It was just, just to gain crew coordination, get build your hours. Uh -huh. We're on our last training mission. We're over Tucson. I can see downtown LA from Tucson. We're at 89,000 feet. I can see the whole western United States bathed in a warm October fall glow. I can see the chain of Rocky Mountains from Canada to New Mexico. I could, I could just see the most beautiful picture laid at my feet in this air as smooth as glass. Not a gauge moving in the cockpit. It was perfect. Now I'm thinking, we bad. <laughs> and I feel sorry for Walter because he has to monitor five radios in the back seat, so I flipped the switch up just to listen. and. LA Center is controlling, they control all, when you fly Southwest Air, they're the guys controlling everybody. But we're above controlled airspace. So they, they have us on their scope, but they're not talking to us. Now there's controllers all over the country, Jacksonville Center, Chicago Center, Seattle Center, you know. It's the same guy. They all talk the same. And it's really cool the way they talk, because they make you feel important as a pilot. <laughs> they don't just say, yeah, okay, here's your thing. They make you feel really cool. So sure enough, there, this was pre-GPS day. Some Cessna guy has to know his ground speed. Uh, LA Center Cessna November Tango Alpha, you got a ground speed readout for us? Now Center would like to say, who cares, get off free. Uh. But no, he'll talk to him like he's John Glenn. Cessna November Alpha, we show you 90 knots, nine zero knots on the ground. And they do that sing song, but that's how they talk. And it makes you feel kind of cool. <laughs> right after that, a twin bonanza came up to pimp the guy for speed, I guess. And, LA Center, Twin Beach, uh, whatever. You got a ground speed read up for us? And Center likes it. God, it's Friday. Why me? God, please, just get off. But he's going to talk to him like he's Air Force One. Twin Beach, shall we show you 121, two zero knots on the ground? And right after that, a Navy F 18 out of Lemoore popped up on frequency. And you knew it was a Navy guy because he talked really slick on the radio. <laughs> Center Dusty 5-2 speed check. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. Dusty 5-2 has a ground speed indicator in that million dollar F-18 cockpit. It's right there in the heads up display. Why is he calling Center to broadcast his speed? <laughs> I get it. We are just the meanest, baddest, fastest military jet in the valley today. We're taking our little Hornet jet over Mount Whitney and ripping across Death Valley. We want everyone from Fresno to the coast to know what real speed Aye. is. And you can almost hear a little, a little glee in the controller's voice like, we have put an end to this. <laughs> Dusty 5-2, we show you 620, 620 knots across the Aye. ground. And it was that across the ground. See that little knife like, I hope nobody else has the nerve to get on frequency now. And there wasn't an airliner from Seattle to San Diego that wanted to be next on Freak. It's sort of an etiquette thing amongst flyers. And a 12-year-old was reaching for the mic button. <laughs> and I thought, oh, no, wait, Walter's in charge of the radios. I flew single seat all those years, but I'm in the family model now. And I, I went, no, it's the Navy that must die and it must die now. And I, and I thought, no, but if I do, I, well, I would upset uh, Walter and I want us to be a good crew. And I, at that moment, I heard a click of the mic button in the back seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Walter and I became a crew at that moment. 
in his best innocent voice. L.A. Center, Aspen 30. Have you got a ground speed readout for us? You could almost hear a collective gasp on Freak, like all oh, the poor fools didn't hear the previous transmissions. Oh, they, they got crushed like a grape. It's, it's just a pilot thing. But Center had to give you that same voice. Aspen 30, we show you 1,992 knots. <laughs> Cross the ground. Hey. When I knew I was going to like Walter a lot is when he came back and said, Center, we're showing a little closer to 2,000. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we did not hear another transmission on that frequency <laughs> all the way to the coast. The king of speed lived, the Navy had been flamed, and a crew had been hey. formed. For just a moment, it was absolutely fun being the fastest guys oh, in the block. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh. What a story. That is so funny. That is just the perfect story, I swear. <laughs> it's just so good. It's a story of like, just straight up bragging rights. You know, like... <laughs> And I love it. I love it. He told that so well as well. Like, I don't think you could get another person to tell that story better than him. He told it so perfect. Oh, it's just funny, you know? It's just so funny. Obviously, the SR-71 just totally trumped all aircrafts back then. I just think it's hilarious to learn kind of, I guess it's like an inside joke of, I guess, the Air Force and the Navy planes and, you know, talking with the air controllers and it was just interesting, you know, I actually did learn a lot from that video about the humour and how things work up there and the fact that, like, People didn't want to tune in to or ask for a speed check from <laughs> the um, traffic controllers if a really fast aircraft checks before them. Like it's just funny, <laughs> and the fact that the 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 navy plane checked and they thought that they'd be the fastest, but then the SR seventy one came along like speed check, hunter, and the fact that the the back seat person totally read the pilot's mind like he didn't even need to say anything the fact that he clicked straight onto that radio pretty much as soon as the navy pilot was done with his speed check he was like nah 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 this navy pilot is not about to do that no nope, no nope. get back in your place hunty <laughs> and they did exactly that so so funny um I'm actually really glad that I watched the um, SR-71 introduction video before I watched this one um, because from that video before I could understand what kind of aircraft it was and the fact that it was just an insane, insane aircraft. So I'm really glad that I watched that one before this one because now I've got the kind of clarification of the SR-71. That is hilarious though. So, so funny. Thank you guys so much for spamming the other video with the name of this video telling me to watch it because this story is bloody funny. Thank you guys so much for watching with me today. Um, let me know if you've got any extra comments. Leave them down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. What do you guys think about this video? And also, if you do have a video recommendation, just head over to my website, which I'll link down below, and you can make video recommendations on there. But apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm.